Well, last night's front still causing us problems today. It stalled off to the south, and on the north side of that front, we've got this area of rain that is set up. Now you can see the northern edge of this pretty sharp right here along I-44, and that's the way it's going to stay for most of this evening before the rain starts to expand back to the north into areas closer to central Missouri. Right now, though, just a, a steady rain falling across a lot of southwest Missouri places like Monette, Cash, uh, Cassville, Washburn, Berryville, Branson, light to moderate rain at this time, keeping roads wet. Uh, here in Springfield, we've seen the rain edge to the south, but I think it'll be back later this evening, maybe about 8 to 9 o'clock. We'll see that steadier rain returning to the Springfield area, and it looks like once it gets here, the rain is likely going to be mainly on rather than off through Wednesday and Wednesday evening as a result of this storm back here in New Mexico. Uh, it's going to help uh, generate a surface low on the front in Texas, and that storm is going to ripple up the front across our area Wednesday into Wednesday night. Uh, now, south of that frontal boundary, it's going to be warm and humid on Wednesday into Wednesday evening, and that's going to be a spot favored for some severe weather. Uh, looks like that risk stays just southeast of our area, but if you are traveling maybe over toward Dexter or Sykeston here in southeast Missouri, there's going to be a very low risk of severe weather uh, heading into the evening hours tomorrow night. Same story in northeast Arkansas in the Jonesboro area. Uh, locally for us, I think the big story is the rain and lots of it. And that's why we have a flood watch in effect for southern Missouri and in northern Arkansas. It looks like a few inches of rain falling in those areas. So looking at our forecast for tonight, Again, notice that northern edge stays pretty constant right here along I-44, but after midnight, the rain will expand further north into central Missouri, and it looks like a wet start to our Wednesday. I mean, this is going to be a day where you're going to keep that umbrella close by because you're going to need it. Uh, steady rain for most of the day across most of the area, and it looks like as we head into Wednesday evening, that area of low pressure that's currently developing in Texas, it'll start making its way across the area overnight Wednesday night. And that's going to keep that threat for showers alive for much of the overnight hours. And it looks like as cold air wraps in on the back side of that storm, we may see a transition over to wet snow in places like Osceola, Warsaw, Lincoln, maybe Hermitage. And we might even find some minor accumulations on grassy surfaces in those locations. We get to Thursday morning. We're still looking at low cloudiness across many areas east of Highway 65, but it'll quickly exit. And the bulk of our Thursday looks great. Uh, mostly sunny skies, and we're going to be able to dry out after this two-day round of rainfall that we're finding in the area. As far as rain totals, Along and south of the interstate is where we're going to find the higher rain amounts, a general one to three inches. In fact, many areas, once you get down to around Highway 60 and south, we'll see at least two inches of rainfall. And that's what's going to lead to that flooding concern. Those low lying areas could fill up with water and that could impact low water crossings as well. Rain totals much lighter to the north of the interstate where we'll find amounts generally under an inch. Overnight temperatures, it's chilly now. It'll get a little cooler. It looks like about 39 for low in Springfield. Temperatures tomorrow with the wet weather throughout the day, the east winds, that is a combination where we just kind of stay stuck in the 40s all day long. We may see some warmer air try to nose into areas like Mountain Home and West Plains late in the day going into the evening hours with temperatures maybe rising into the 50s in those spots. On Thursday, back to sunshine with highs in the 50s there. Looking ahead to Friday, that'll be interesting with yet another storm moving across the area, and that one may generate a risk of rain or snow on Friday. We could find some minor snow accumulations out of that one on grassy surfaces. It'll be a cold day too with temperatures stuck in the 30s all day. 47 in sunshine on Saturday after morning low of 20 and nice and mild again on Sunday with highs in the mid to upper 50s. Uh, looks like a, a wet Valentine's Day with rain expected most of the day. Guys?